I could edit a thousand images and <laughs> it's not going to cost me a thousand credits. You can do as much as you want with this software. And as you can see, we can get some really nice results for less than $60. So there was a recent upgrade, or should I say update to Portrait Pro, and we're now on 24.3. Now I'm using this on the Mac version. And again, I'm just gonna go through why I think this is the best bang for buck editing AI software you can purchase for either Mac or for your Windows-based computer. Now, why do I say that? the pricing is just right. So like I said, for, for less than $60, 50 pounds, whatever it is, you can have a fully functional piece of AI editing software that will never run out. You don't need to keep upgrading. You don't need to keep buying credits, etc. 50 pounds will have you a fully functional piece of software that will do most things that you will need. Now, I use this mainly as an add-on to Photoshop because it integrates into Photoshop as well, depending on which version you have. And like I said, oh, we've got two in there. Let's knock that down. Update. As you can see here, £49.95p will give you the software with unlimited exports, unlimited, whatever you want to do. It's there on your computer forever for one price now i do also use another one of the biggest ones at the moment which is evoto amazing piece of software but like i've said all along you know i try and be honest in my reviews and the biggest pain is the you've got to buy credits blah 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 and if you're a casual user or you're not someone who's you know making a lot of money as a photographer it's just not the option for you because you've got to keep paying for something. Whereas with this software, it's a one-off payment and it's yours for life. Now, I'm just going to show you quickly in this video what you can do editing-wise with it. Now, I will say some of the things I don't like and I will say some of the things I do like. Now, again, I've been with this company for over 10, 10, 10, probably 12, 13 years or more. I can't remember how long it is now, but it's been a long time I've been using this software on and off. And um, yeah, over the last few years, they have been every year letting me upgrade the software for free because I do um, these videos, etc. And um, yeah, I just give my honest opinion. You know, they don't tell me what to say and uh, we just keep it there. Anyway, so first things first, we've got an image on the screen. We're just going to enhance it just a little bit. Now, one of the things I will say is the the option to have a before and after is available. I'm just going to keep it here as a one image on the screen and we can get to work pretty quickly. Okay, so we're just going to do some quick edits on this portrait and we just want to adjust the jawline just a little bit. About there, I'm going to adjust the eyebrows there just a little bit as well. Eye widening, always a good feature. Now again, plump lips, we don't really need to, but we'll just give a little bit more to the top lip on of this one shoulders etc we're gonna do a bit of a lens correct there head forward i'm not gonna do any of that now one of the features that um evoto has just added which just in my opinion i've told it straight it doesn't work how it should do okay so when you're doing a hair volume hair volume we've got hair from here to here we want to add volume to all the hair theirs just doesn't work as it should do and as you can see there we're adding volume to all the hair hairline if we wanted to bring that down just a little bit i'm going to as well to probably there okay now let's 
next one we're going to use uh, skin smoothing we're just going to imperfections we've been all wrinkles fine shadows we'll bring that one up we don't want to remove pause we'll just add a little bit of sharpening back in now we have got a couple of blemishes we need to fix now the spot removal on this software i've said it all along it doesn't work as well as evotos but you know it's still not time consuming to just click on this one and let's make that just a little bit smaller and just over the little imperfections we want to fix there one there i don't mind doing it by hand I, I, you know like i've said i've used this software for years it's never been perfect like i've said i've used it integrated with photoshop so i'd probably have done my spot removal in photoshop anyway but is what it is you know i can live with that for the price for all the other features you get it's still worth it in my opinion now when we come to the makeup section there's just so more much choice there's a lot more choice than you would get with some of the other ones evoto i know i've told them i've told them but they don't listen um when it comes to you know like lipstick choice they give you a, a menu of different colors and that's it it's sort of like you're having them colors and you're not having any more whereas with this software we can just put any color we want on for lipstick which i'm not going to add any lipstick on this occasion but i'm just showing you that it's 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 um any color you want the palette is there just something to remember okay so we're going to go into here uh, mascara we're just going to add some we'll go for a thicker application We're just going to bring them down. As you can see, we can adjust everything individually. So if they're not just lining up exactly how you want them, we can move them in the software to wherever they need to be. So we're going to bring the texture to around there. Upper eyeshadow, I'm not going to use any. We're just going to add a little bit of blusher. Okay. Um, recenter the what am I doing? Come on, image. There we go. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of eyeliner as well. You should really try this software yourself. You can use it as a trial if needs be we're just going to add a little bit of eyebrow pencil as well highlight them eyes as at those eyebrows just a little bit more and then we're going to add eyelid just see how it adds more depth in there i'm doing this nice and quick we're going to brighten up the iris and then we're going to sharpen the eyes just a little bit as well. We're going to darken them pupils down. No, we'll leave that one as well. We're going to clean the eyes up just a little bit. Again, if you go too far, whitening eyes, etc., it can look crazy. So keep everything without going over the top. Okay. We don't need to add a catch light with one there. Okay, so we're going to go into this one here, which is the lip saturation. We're just going to add a little bit of saturation to the lip and darken them just a little bit as well. And then we're going to moisten. See, we've got a catch light here. Just add a little bit of moisture to that area. It's like adding contrast to the image. Now, Again, hair features. I just want to add a little bit more of a platinum blonde look to this image. So all we need to do is change the temperature of the hair. And as you can see, we've got more of a platinum blonde 
look to the hair. A little bit of sharpening. I will go to that. Now, I'm just going to go back into here. I want to adjust that face just to about there. I'm going to bring the head forward. Just sort this area out here. I want a little bit more volume, I think. Okay, close that one down. We've been in there. We've been in there. Now, one of the best features you've got in here is this lighting and colouring control. Now, we're going to add a little bit of modelling to the... If you look here, we can see where the light's coming from. Now, this is showing the light face directly on, so we're going to bring that up to be in line where the lighting was. If it was further over this way, as you can see, we can adjust this exactly how we want it to look. So I'm going to put it, I think it was round about there. And then we're going to add a little bit of shadow on this side. A little bit of shadow on this side, just to bring it into this area here. As you can see before, after. You've got a lot, a lot more control with this software than you have with other people's software. Now we're going to add a little bit of dimension to the lips by adding a little bit more shadow underneath this area here. And then we're going to sculpt the nose and I'm done. Now I think I might just add a little bit more colour to the lips. Let's go eyeliner, blusher, where oh, is it in here, mouth. I'm just going to go to about there and not darken them as much. Sharpen the mouth up just a little bit and I'm done. So how quick was that? I could edit a thousand images and <laughs> it's not going to cost me a thousand credits. You can do as much as you want with this software. And as you can see, we can get some really nice results for less than $60. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next video. If you do like this software, you do like these videos, leave a, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. The link will be below if you want to trial this software yourself. And we will see you in the next video.